Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and I am absolutely thrilled at this new option in Adobe Premiere Pro to make deleting the cache a whole heck of a lot easier. Deleting the files in the media cache is a common troubleshooting step that fixes a lot of the problems that happen with media. So this is one of the things that might happen in Premiere Pro where you think the program is the problem and it's not, it's the media. So the whole time you're ever working in Premiere Pro, it's saving things in the cache. These are little accelerator files and they can become orphaned because, well, one reason is you moved on to a new project and you now have an old project and it's using up all this space and maybe some of those things have become corrupt. So you can also free up a ton of space it's really a good idea to remove the media cache. And in the past, we had to hold down these keyboard shortcuts while you were starting the application and many people didn't do it quick enough. And they have, if they had old versions of Premiere Pro, they didn't even know if they did it correctly. Well, there's a new delete everything button in Premiere Pro to, to delete the full cache. Let me show you where that is. So in the edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, Preferences, Media Cache. So this is where it used to have Delete Unused. Now we have a Delete button. And you can see when I mouse over, it says to remove Media Cache files. When I click on it, I am given two options, Delete Unused Files. This will delete, first of all, this will search there's a media cache database, which is a smaller file, and then there's the actual media cache files. So this will read the media cache database, look for the associated files, and if they're not being used anymore, then it will delete the unused ones. And you'll notice if I try to use this one, delete all media, I can't because I have a project open. So I need to get out of here and close this project. So I need to completely restart Premiere Pro. If Premiere Pro didn't do this, then Premiere Pro running in the foreground would uh, get mixed up because you just deleted something it needed in the background. Now remember, this is not deleting your media. These are your cache files. You can throw the whole cache away and Premiere Pro will just rebuild the stuff it needs. Let me just resize this home screen. Go back to the same menu, back to media cache. Back to the delete button. And now I can choose to delete all media cache files from the system. And you can see, I get a note that deleting all media cache files deletes all cache files from the current location. Deleted cache files will be recreated automatically whenever source media requires them. Use this option, restart Premiere Pro. So I'll click OK. And now it's cleaning that media cache. Click OK. And now I can begin to use Premiere Pro um, like I normally would. This is a, the first go-to place if your media is misbehaving, if either um, media is, is just not showing up correctly with audio only, video only, or you're getting very odd things happening in the timeline. Again, Premiere Pro is trying to make Premiere Pro run faster by creating these little accelerator files. These are never meant to be user controlled files. It's not something that you should go and do or you can do that's just made in the background. You can't shut them off, but you can delete them. So no more goofy keyboard shortcuts. Start Premiere Pro and have to put your fingers on the keyboard real quick. Instead, just go to that MIDI cache. Remember, you need to quit Premiere Pro because I had a, 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 a project open and I just tried to close the project. That doesn't work. You need to shut Premiere Pro down, restart Premiere Pro, don't open anything. Go to the edit menu, preferences, or, or the uh, uh, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac and delete that cache. This is going to solve so many problems and it's so much easier. This should be your number one place to go fix any media problems. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe to us. 
We have uh, great new tutorials all the time for you. And if you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. You can also get some goodies when you do sign up from the member section at uh, Video Reveal. So one donation and you're, you're off to those goodies. So till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you updated on all the great ways to keep running correctly in Premiere Pro.